So in this video, I'm going to be proving why 0 factorial is equal to 1. So to start off, to get a factorial of a number n, this is equal to this number n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on and so forth until you reach 1. So this is what the factorial a of a number n is. Now let's try this with 5 factorial. So for 5 factorial, this is equal to 5 times 5 minus 1 times 5 minus 2 times 5 minus 3 times 5 minus 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1 so that's where we reach our stopping point and this is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 20 times 3 which is 60 times 2 which is 120 so 5 factorial is equal to 120 now let's go one lower so let's do 4 factorial well 4 factorial is just going to be 1 less than 5 so we just cancel out the 5 and it's going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 2 is 24, so this is going to equal 24. Now let's go 1 less again, and we get 3 factorial, which is just 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And then we get 2 factorial, which is just 2 times 1, which is 2. And then we reach 1 factorial, which is just 1. And then finally, if we go 1 less, we get 0 factorial. Well, what do we do here? because we usually just multiply down until we get to one, right? But zero is already less than one. So how do we find the value of zero factorial? Well, there is actually a pattern over here. So four factorial and five factorial. How do we use five factorial to go down to four factorial? Well, five factorial, or sorry, four factorial is the same thing as 5 factorial over 5. 5 factorial is 120, and 120 over 5 is equal to 24, which is the value of 4 factorial. Now, we can use the same pattern to go down even more. So 3 factorial is equal to 4 factorial over 4, which is equal to 24 over 4, which is equal to 6. And notice how 3 factorial is equal to 6. Now let's go one even lower. 2 factorial is equal to 3 factorial over 3, which is equal to 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. 1 factorial is equal to 2 factorial over 2, which is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. And now we reach 0 factorial, which is equal to 1 factorial over 1, which is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So that's how we get 0 factorial is equal to 1. And notice how this doesn't just prove that 0 factorial is equal to 1. This is also the reason why 2 to the power, or sorry, see, I shouldn't say 2, any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. You could just trace backwards and find out why. So we have, let's start with x to the power, or let's just use the number 2, for instance. Let's start with 2 to the power 4, which is equal to 16. Then we have 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8. 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And 2 to the power of 1, which is equal to 2. Let's trace backwards. We first start with 16. And to get to 16, uh, sorry, to get to 8 from 16, we divide by 2. Now to get to 8 from 4, we divide by 2 as well. To get to 4, or sorry, to get 2 from 4, we divide by 2. And then finally, for 2 to the power of 0, this is equal to 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, there, I just proved to you that not only 0 factorial is equal to 1, but also the reason why any number to the power of 0 is also equal to 1. And you can use this proof, uh, show it to your teachers, impress your friends, or do whatever you want with it. But that is the proof.